Hi, what you saw just now was a Raspberry Pi NAS. Today I will walk you through what a NAS is, why you might need one for yourself, and most importantly, the process of making one software and hardware wise. So what is a NAS in the first place? A NAS is short for a Network Attached Storage, basically a system for storing and accessing files. You might be familiar with a form of storage like this. A USB stick. You plug it into your computer, your phone, and that way it creates a wired connection, helping you access those files. A NAS is different in a way that it is a wireless connection. You basically store your files in a separate computer, in this case, a Raspberry Pi, and any device in your network can access it anytime, anywhere. The components for today's project are pretty simple. First, we need to have, of course, a Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 4. I believe it has about 4 GB of RAM, which is sufficient for this project. We also need a USB or an SD card for storing the operating system. And lastly, you can buy yourself a SSD or a hard drive. Now, this is completely optional, but if you can swing the money, this is a Kingston SSD. I bought it for 20 bucks and for that much money, you get yourself a really fast 240 gigabyte of storage. Now with that in mind, let's begin. Firstly, open the browser. And next, go on to raspberrypi.com. Go into a software and download the Windows version of a Raspberry Pi Imager app. After the download is complete, go through the setup and install the app. Then follow my instruction here and install the Raspberry Pi OS Lite version onto your existing USB or SD card. This process is going to take a while, so let's sit back, relax, watch a YouTube video, and come back. And with that, you have a fully working USB with an operating system for the Raspberry Pi. For this next step, we need a monitor, a keyboard, and maybe a mouse. We'll see why I said maybe later. If you notice right now, on your screen are a set of IP addresses, specifically the highest one. Let's go ahead and put this IP address onto a browser. Now, this is just completely optional. You already have a functioning Raspberry Pi NAS, but I want to go ahead and make it look as pretty as it is functional. Firstly, open a new tab and go to printables.com. Then follow my instruction here to go to the TerraPi Enclosure 3D file. Lastly, put your 3D file into a slicer software to start 3D printing the part.
man, with it all assembled, look how beautiful this thing is. We have a fan over here, we've got a USB running the operating system, and the SSD doing most of the heavy lifting for the, of the data transfer. So, that is how you make a NAS with a Raspberry Pi. Of course, you can make it with any computer you have around the house, even your old smartphone. I hope that you have learned something valuable from today. And, you know, most importantly, it would be super cool if you guys make one for yourself. If you do, let me know in the comment section. Alright, with that in mind, have a good day ahead of you. Bye. Also, kind of a last minute note here, but I have put in the description a lot of sources of people having done better tutorials than me at Open Media Vault and NAS in general. So check them out if you are having any problems or stuck at any step. Thank you. Take care.